Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have the first event in the new season for the European Grand Campaign. It should be exciting to watch as our first map here is Hatch's Attack and our second map is Reno's Fall. Both out of the South Mountain Pack, it should be exciting. With that out of the way, we can see our teams for today's event. On the CSA side in round one, the USA side in round two, we have 15th Wisconsin, 1st Delaware, Army of Northern Virginia, 42nd Pennsylvania, the 1st BDG, which consists of 9th Corps and 17th Michigan, and then on the USA side, we have Hood's Division, the United Alaskan Front, Colquitt's Brigade, 13th Georgia, Pennsylvania Army, 3rd PS, and the 1st Massachusetts. And here are all our Patreon supporters. If you want to support, go to the description. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy this broadcast. Here we are live on the first battlefield, Hatch's Attack. It should be a good one. Today you have myself as Guardian Eagle announcing with Vastal. Howdy. And then on the top left of your screen for the CSA frontline view, we have Killer here who's in charge of the ANV. And then our USA view from the 13th Georgia, we have Cater. So. Hey but that being said, the glories of Hatch's attack. I haven't played this map too often. Uh, Vastal, what is generally the USA attack from your experience, if you have any, with this? I played Hatch's attack quite a few times, actually, and it's a bit of a bitch of a map, to be honest, because there's three main places that the Union can go. There's where you see, um, what, what unit is that there? T take it to the right there. Let's see. Third PS. Yes, well, you see Flores here leading his men. This is a very common place for the Union to go up, to right down this right side by this orchard. Usually along that picket, uh, that, uh, you know, picket rail fence there. Um, then you've got um, that center snake fence right there where the cornfield stops. That's the second line of attack that uh, you usually see. That's down the center. I personally am a big fan of that position because it lets you take a snake fence corner further down there. It gives you easy access to the point. And it's just a nice overlay of fire to guys on the left side. And it just offers you a nice place to move back and forth to the right on that snake fence. Uh, as you can see along the road to your right there. Lots of area in the corner that you could pull back, then go back in. You see a small CSA unit that's doing something stupid uh, in the woods? You can charge them out. The final... Oh. What are we here? Yeah, no, we'll get back to that in a moment. We have 15th Wisconsin here. You have bus here as well. Uh, being approached, third P PS on the other side here. 15th Wisconsin ready for this. But third PS is not pushing forward. They're kind of just sitting back here. It looks like their friendlies are approaching and they're waiting for that. What about that third attack, Vastel, quickly? Now, the third attack, as you can see, another snake fence right there. Usually people will like to push along down that snake fence as well but csa likes to hold you see that corner there they like to hold around there they also like to sometimes let the union in my experience get up on top of them and then just let them die because it's awkward oh looks like we got some fighting but yeah as uh, the push over there we can see first delaware and the first massachusetts has joined the 15th um wisconsin here on their right behind them is the pa in terms of the rest of the CSA, they're holding kind of around Swan area of A and V and the 42nd Pennsylvania. So, in terms of the Union Force, you still have 3rd PS. They moved up fast. HD is moving there. You heard 3rd PS say the charge. Unfortunate time for Lolly. They get a couple of kills, but for the most part, most of the Union's going to be able to get into here. I mean, you can see all of them coming in. Oh, they wasted those shots. A lot of Union forming up the fence. Don't know who's there yet. They're kind of holding oh, there. They're not the charging doing? in. They're holding the fence? No, they have to get in there. You can see they're going up and over oh, now. Oh, that's a lot of Union. There we go. That's what we love to see. Union in mass with the red caps. Pushing down this side. CSA went up top, but more Union pouring in. More Confederates pouring in. Everyone's pouring in. So this is kind of cool to see because of the new vaulting update. It takes a while to vault, so people are just reloading on the side of the fence. They're not trying to engage. Everyone's just kind of sitting here. 
right now. Stay on the rock. Stay on the rock. 17th ready. At the ready. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. Falling ball at this distance? <laughs> Ain't no way. So yeah, still intense. You have 17 Michigan, 6 Alabama, and then to their right is the 13th Georgia. Uh, CSA have pretty much overwhelmed this defensive position, though. Uh, you can see the 13th. They've fallen back a little bit. Um, trying to get in the cover. The rest of 17th and 6 are going to die there, but... You can see the CSA don't even want to give these guys this position here. Lucian coming up. Getting a kill there. Will the rest of the CSA respond? Holding up on these rocks behind is the 42nd PA. They're taking shots at the 13th Georgia. Three of us, man. Now, 13th Georgia's kind of pinned here. don't want to see. When you see an attacker sitting hurtling in like a position like that, you know, where they're sort of just letting themselves die for nothing that's not what you want to see whenever you, an attack fails the best thing to do is go full through with it have every last person that you have at least try to kill someone but die so you, you can get fully organized at main and go back in again now we have a disjointed unit that's going to be coming in at different times because of this and we have an unnecessary amount of casualties that are spread out over time rather than all of them up front in formation deaths yeah, we can see that charge failed miserably. You can see on top how much more tickets the Union's lost percentage-wise. Union's almost down to engage. When that blue bar hits the far left side, that means they're done with battle ready and they're at engage. And CSA's barely lost any tickets overall. So a heck of a job by the CSA defending there. I think USA charge was a little spread out, but... Yeah, heck of a job by the CSA. And speaking of that, we never looked at numbers. So CSA is outnumbering the Union by seven men um so not a whole lot still can make things a little challenging but nothing you can't overcome are these guys shooting at their friendlies that would be kind of funny they might be. but wow that was that was that was cool to see so the union and it now looks union like... are trying left side because oh uh, right didn't work so let's do the opposite <laughs> and the csa are not even gonna let them think about this. They're moving back to their original positions, at least those guys are. Looks like most of the CSA is making their way to this left side. Um, in terms of this Union Assault, is this third PS? Yep, third PS out in the front of Ghent again. Following behind, we have the CQB. Uh, we have Ninth Corps behind them. Uh, shots are being engaged up front. Third PS, kind of getting wiped, though, by the uh, PA with A and V behind. So, CSA is ready to hold this position against the Union. Realistically, this is not, like, if you have a CSA team that reacts properly on this map, you know, it just moves its entire mass onto one spot. There's not really so anything you can do as Union if you're trying to charge up these congested areas. The CSA are just going to repel you. And you're going to take disproportionate casualties. Patches does not have a big ticket advantage. I think it's only 10% ticket advantage for the attacker. So, as the attacker, you have to make sure that well, the attacks that you're making aren't like Burnside Bridge scale attacks. Or they have to be just over that to get to Stop looking at me. So, Union slowly creeping forward here. It looks like they're just kind of waiting for their friendlies to come in from spawn. It looks like you have Confederates near the point of contention. The first Delaware taking shots. I think I saw 42nd PA as well. You also have Union pushing up the middle here, 6 Alabama. Um, behind them, 17th Michigan. So, two pronged attack here. This. Ooh, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen here. We're going to have this unit here. We'll, all sides are going to slow down, right? Left side's going to, only going to take that corner for Union, and they're going to fail to take advantage of it. You see, they're, they're all stopping. They stopped. They outnumber the guys on the right there, and they don't realize it. 13th lead has guys charged, in, though. But it's not enough. All the way to the corner. All the way to the corner. So corner, boys. Keep keep going, going. Going. It looks like both sides are charging here simultaneously. 13th Georgia leading that go. charge. There we see the other unit coming in. This is more of a distraction over there. This is the real charge. You can see kill your view here. Popping some shots. Yeah, not all the Union has charged in. Some holding back, taking shots. Yep. 
And heck of a hold here by PA and ANV. Not a lot of PA left, but ANV surviving that. Ninth core holding back here, taking shots with their should have been in there. All the units here should have dropped what they were doing and joined on that charge. They could have that corner. So we see 17th Michigan still here. Looks like 6 AL. Alabama push forward. You do have CSA moving in the woods. Uh, 15th Wisconsin with some movements. First Massachusetts moving as well. But yeah, CSA hold again. Union's at engaged. Yeah, we're getting quite a brutal ticket differential going on right now. I think the next shot, especially with these Union guys, are sort of just standing there in the open. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's two men with, with one shot there. Look at that. That's brutal. The yep, now they're breaking and falling back. Yeah, oh, there is a Rambo here. Get on the rocks. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> he gets one. No way he gets away with this. Oh! Two! <laughs> you run. No, you don't dedicate. You run. You run. He's hiding! He... What are you doing? He she... pops out! No. no. Gets another stab! No, no gets three! No, that's enough. Oh that's my goodness. No no way that was two out of liners that he got he got okay that was worth it that was actually worth it it's a uh, positive elixir trade as some would say <laughs> positive <laughs> trick trade clash royale so yeah csa is about 40 percent of the way to engage union is 60 percent to taking the losses um union reforming up here Moving. Over here. So 9 4 and 3rd PS still holding up front. We have A and V being very aggressive here. See that from Killer's view here. He's charging in, getting some stabs off. He goes down. But first mass, I see that that tag too. Maybe he's just with A and V. But A and V is going to get destroyed. 9th core. Appears to have almost been mostly yeah. white. I'm gonna Couple kill left there. There. They kind of traded regiments. More CSA are approaching here in the center. We have the 42nd PA on the right to the engaging front. this Union what force. Taking are they shots. Doing? Union group pushing forward. They're advancing because A and V charged. We have more Confederates. PA charging. What the heck? Into the 13th side. This is confusion. Uh, who's. So in the center is holding first Delaware, and then someone's pushing down the far right. It is six Alabama. <laughs> so I mean, what do you this is crazy. They're still battle ready. They're still battle ready. So they they probably think that oh you know they can be this aggressive, but you want to bleed the def the attackers' time as much as possible. And if you can put the pressure on where they're wasting their tickets and their time, that's perfect. I I don't necessarily you see they're just about to hit to engage now. I don't know if that was worth it or not. We'll see later in the game. But even though they're about to hit the battle already, they, um, they're still ahead by a lot. But Union does have this corner, but they are falling back. The CSA team pushing aggressively. PA, A, and V in the front. Uh, they're going to wipe these couple guys here. We have poor, poor Cater. Aw, oh, dang. Come on, Cater. Come on, Cater. No! A poor frontline reporter goes down. So 15th Wisconsin being very chase, bold though. here. Uh, you do see HD and 13th, some of 9th Corps as well on the other side. You see a lot of 9th Corps. 15th Wisconsin getting very close. Uh, you do see shots in the distance. That's probably the 17th Michigan. CSA falling further back to the point, And 15th Wisconsin pulls back because they're in a kind of a bad spot. Is the Union charging again? They're pushing forward here. Down the line, yeah. after reloads, we're gonna fall back, steady, and I'm going to fight. Fight. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Fall back. I think they need to pull the reload. Oh, but. CSA go down to engage. So. It's crazy to see. Full Fifth Brigade getting that volley there. So, 15th Wisconsin, A and V. Um, are really the ones on this right flank. I see PA tags as well. Holding in the center, um, we have first Delaware. It looks like they're taking shots at the Union that are positioned over here. A lot of Union sure. bunched up there. Uh, we do have 17th Michigan off in the distance taking shots against them. On this left side, um, 42nd PA is now moving back towards the center. Um, but 6th Alabama is kind of spread out here. So Union 
kind of doing a spread out assault here. More CSA assaults here. Why are they charging? 15th Wisconsin pushing forward. Uh, yeah, this is intriguing. Maybe they're just trying. It could be something for the campaign that we don't know. Maybe, but. maybe. It could be that they think that they can just destroy the Union's tickets outright and, and put them the final push in a disadvantageous uh, time. Yeah, because that is the one thing I... I broadcast the events. I don't really go to the court or watch that. So if I misinterpret something for the campaign, I apologize. But and no, I mean CSA is about to knock Union into taking losses. So yeah, they they. I'll be honest. They have widened the gap in tickets. So maybe it's not a terrible idea. To try. So Union kind of forming this um, L formation here. Yeah, they're gonna take the L. <laughs> They are so far, but yeah, the CSA looks like they're shifting again towards the center. We do have this union group. It is the third PS. They're going for the center rock here near the point. Um, it looks like these guys are just sharpshooters here. Um, who readjusted? Nothing makes me of feel more comfortable than seeing guys crouching whenever their sides exposed. Yeah, we got a little cover, a little. A little cover. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they can they can sneak, squeeze in there. That's a big rock. Yeah. So third PS Straight skirmishing. Down. You do see six Alabama still off in the distance. They're kind of holding there for now. I'm surprised they haven't moved up yet. But I think they still believe that four seconds over there, and so could be a <laughs> waiting. <laughs> hey boys, get your They're going northwest. So 13th Georgia is pushing off to the right. Are they gonna try to go, or are they just they're just shifting over? For now, are they gonna take shots? No, it looks like they're repositioning from the left. So this Confederate group A and V has pushed off the the stone area here, and they are trying to get behind them. They're in here in the open taking shots. I uh, did not get any kills. For that high for 40 seconds. So yeah, 15th was constantly now Union charging Union. in the center here. Union hitting, taking losses because of it. Uh, it looks like they just ran up, wanted to get those kills, and now they're falling back. Another CSA regiment, I'm guessing, first Delaware. Uh, yep, they're pushing further forward here, out in the open. Uh, it looks like they're going to take a volley here. They do take a Fall volley back. at the Union and are falling back. Uh, PA pushing really far forward to where we saw the 17th taking shots at either Union respawns or uh, Union forces that are over here. On our far side, we do have two tiny groups engaging, 6 Alabama with 1st Mass. They're hopping over out. the fence. Yeah, they're hopping out. over the fence to the left. Take A. Take about the Rebels. Up to bleed. See him? I got a good shot. Retract. Retract. Where do you see them? I don't see them. Right there. <laughs> right, 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 right there. Independent fire. <laughs> so glorious uh, leadership there. Yeah, we can see A and V pushing forward again. Looks they're volleying from the side. They're getting a decent amount of hits, or it's the hits coming from the other regiments to our right. But wow, Union's really being pinned on this map, and CSA's not taking a whole lot of losses doing it as well, which is crazy to see. I'll be that. honest, if I was a Union commander right now, I'd be kind of stumped on what to do if I'm down a whole ticket stage in this map. I mean, it's... It's it's hard. I mean, yeah. The Union's kind of put themselves in a very iffy place. Or rather, CSA's just done a heck of a job so far to where we're in this position. A and V taking a position on that snake fence. Um, and Union is falling back towards their spawn. Uh, 13th Georgia is mostly doing that. Back on the other side of the battlefield, more Confederates moving in. It is 15th Wisconsin. They're coming to help with, I think, is 6 Alabama. Yep, 6 Alabama holding there. So, absolutely crazy. 13th falling really far back to their spawn. Maybe they're going to try going up the middle this time in the center. They will break. Um, they will break in the center. We shall see. 
I think the play for Union here is to, as an entire team, fall the fuck back. And just... It's not pretty, but charge... Go down that center snake fence and just try and get a final push breaking situation where you can cap the point. It's not great, but that's the only thing I could think of. So third PS kind of just ran in the middle of the open. They got slaughtered. They, they got slaughtered. No, that's a lot of skirmishing out of lines. I think AMD is pushing forward here. Yep. They're taking advantage of the Union falling back. Colquitt's Brigade, the remainder of that man, 9th Corps. Are gonna oh, slowly they can't just officers down. slowly advance on them. Come on. Pull back, pull back. Got him. Come on, killer. Come on, killer. Come on, killer. Yeah, Shoot heck of a job by Anv. They just came in and kind of wiped the rest of the Union. Union's, in, Union's halfway to engage, and in the center they will try to break them. Thirteenth uh, Georgia, good gesture at the lead, going through the corn. You can see Seventeenth slowly pushing up the hill. Uh, you do have a CSA scout here. I don't know if he's a scout or what, but Lyle's here. I think we saw him earlier. Um, oh, he sees him, and he is running away. <laughs> so I don't think the Union are any the wiser. So Union fall back on that far left side. 17th Michigan holding up on these rocks. Um, I think that one scout's going to alert the CSA, and you can see him starting to move towards the center area. 13th Georgia beginning to move. Looks like Alabama there's been wiped as well on the right side. Indeed. I'm so bust. first Delaware in the center here. Uh, 15th Wisconsin forming up to their left with the first mass. Uh, PA also to the right of first Delaware. In, in the back a little bit, you have 42nd. I saw Ninja there as well. So what, 13th Georgia is getting very close to the Confederate lines here. Um, rest of the Union still kind of reforming here. But... Is HD here as well? No, oh, it's just 13th GA. I had a couple of HD guys here. They don't know we're here now. They don't know. Oh! <laughs> oh. Uh, some of the A and V guys found them. And they're going to wipe them. They're going to probably have to push forward here. And you can see oh, they're kind of doing that. Oh, yeah. Part of 13th Georgia is pushing forward. Right in front of us. Yeah, it's only some of 13th Georgia push forward. Now the rest are moving up to oh, the this snake Oh, not fence. what you want to just charge. So, you do have first mass on this far left side. But most of the charging is happening in the center. Right in front of us, boys. Right in front. As of now, it looks like 13th did wipe first Delaware, but there's a lot more CSA coming in on numerous sides of them. But, yeah, you have PA coming in on this group's left side. On the right side, uh, 42nd is joining the first mass here. 13th choosing to charge this right group, believing it's just first mass probably, but... There was a lot more there. George, back in the corn, back in the corn. And you can see 13th is falling back. Uh, oh, <laughs> 15th Wisconsin wants these guys dead. <laughs> Holy shit. They don't realize what's going on. No way that one guy. That one guy. Ah, oh, almost a successful retreat. That that would be sick. Um, oh, yeah, oh we have another union group going. Oh, Jesus Christ. Looks like the rest of the Union here, Colquitt's Brigade, 9th Corps, 6 Alabama, those are the tags I see. Um, CSA approaching on the snake fence. What a volley by the CSA. That was a solid volley there. Yeah, this is, oh sorry, this is the 42nd PA, not 15th. Uh, I thought it was them because they were so far forward. A and V's approaching to the core. While they're reloading. Right. Oh, Ninth nope. Corps getting shots ah. a, sh a second oh, too oh, early, oh, though. It's going to allow A and B to get in there uh, get flight, and get flight, deal a lot of damage. And Union hits breaking. Wow, this is brutal. 13th. The remainder here. Yeah, A and V is just sticking here. They're taking shots. Is there any other Union push? We do have guys approaching in the center. I think that's the 17th Michigan. But... A and V, close shots. I, the the stinking 
vaulting update makes this so interesting. Just because people don't want to vault in these close quarter fights because it just takes so long to vault over taller things now. I got three right there. I'm happy. But Union reforming A and V falling back to the remainder of their friendlies. A couple of Confederates here. I don't know. Might be a, a couple. But a smidgen. A smidgen. But yeah, the rest of the Union appears to be hitting towards this right side again, as they did. But Confederates holding strong. Uh, who is up here? It is 42nd PA. They have moved forward, oh, taking the place scared. of A and V. Getting volleys at this Union group. Union kind of falling back into this deflated area. Uh, might not look like much, right but you. when you're back here, okay. they can't see you. So they're just trying to reform for now. Most of the CSA is reforming on that side. In terms of over here, uh, this kind of didn't go really well for the Union, unfortunately. You have, you have Bus here. Uh, bus dies. Bug watch him. Get him. Fuck him up. Uh, Damn. Damn. Over. Friendly fire. Damn. Always a problem. And they finally get him only after like three or four deaths. <laughs> Uh, 15th Wisconsin is charging out uh, the 17th Michigan guys, uh, and they do wipe them. Uh, Confederates are going to go down to taking losses here, but it's not the biggest of deal. The Union, actually, no. Is this the 42nd? 42nd doing some rising volleys, running up to that crest of the hill, shooting down at the Union guys. Wow. This must be brutal for those officers from the Union side. They're trying to figure out what the hell they're supposed to do now. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's very hard. Oh, we can see Ninja out in front here of this CSA charge, and he gets killed. Like three of us are shot. <laughs> <laughs> but who's that Union man rambling there to the right? Who's that man? Should yeah, we, who is that? Should we dox the poor man? Yeah, dox this man. I don't know. I mean, most of the oh. unions going this way. Okay, sure. I see two more people behind him. You know, oh, it's Flores. You know it's Flores. Okay, that's I fine. I love this man. If I remember correctly, Flores showed me some magic tricks a long oh, no. time ago. A and V does not care. He, he want this union to be dead. Tough and very aggressive here. I'm surprised Colquist's Brigade isn't running up to that snake fence. They're just sitting in the open. That's allowing A and V to get great shots on them. And I mean, oh God, there's only there's a couple of them left. left. They got wiped. Ball back, of course, ball they're back. being reinforced by the 13th, but so sorry. Colquist's Brigade got wiped. I'm still surprised they didn't run oh, up. Oh, we got another one fence. happening on the, uh, the center there, it looks like. Oh, yeah. no, they're just sitting there stationary in a line. 13th Georgia running out taking shots, but the rest of the CSA are approaching. Not the rest, but more. 15th Wisconsin. Letting it rip on the 13th. Uh, in the center here, we do have 9th Corps. They're taking shots on the 15th. This is funny to see. And shooting this 9th Corps group is PA. <laughs> this is really funny. It's like rock, paper, scissors, only uh, people are dying. <laughs> Everyone is shooting a different group. But... 15th Wisconsin pulling off those middle rocks uh, further in the distance though pulling up his first Delaware First Delaware is nice. taking shots We here. should stay here sir Show them Independent fire boys bring them down You heard Novon uh, you can see it's PA is getting, getting very works. aggressive are they gonna charge or are they just they're gonna do some point blank shots Go 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 black, That was a nice follow That was beautiful by PA A and V Chance here he just wants bloodshed. Gets a kill. His friendly's backing him up. He goes down, though, but Perkins he's is down, still alive. Down, Perkins goes down. That shot puts him down to taking losses. A terrible defeat for the CSA. I don't know if they can pull this uh, I don't one know. out. Yeah, they can't recover from this. No. But, yeah, Union thwarted back again. Let's look at our server pop here. So it's down to 16 men now. That's a little out of the range of uh, it's getting to the point. <laughs> Where it's hard to win the game. Where's Tograis folks when you use them? They're very good for balancing over. So true. Um, you can see. And that's not a jest at their uh, behalf. Tograis, we love you. Indeed. The Tograis. 
So we have HD and six Alabama. By the fan. Collector moment right here. We have bus here. Oh, it, he he fulfilled the collector moment right there. <laughs> so true. So Union's sitting back in their spawn. They're just taking shots. Um, who knew this was a CSA attacking map? But I'm gonna look at it like a CSA attacking map. Now that I think about it, like. 10% ticket advantage with the Union only has, and they're having to fight uphill. Enemy on the okay, right. you're the attacker now. Enemy on the right. Yeah, PA just kind of charging in here. That's crazy. If there's only a 10% ticket yeah. advantage Open for the guys. Union on this, is, that's just crazy. You see the shots, it wasn't through the fences. So, what's cool about the um, yeah, first all we're here, but what's cool about the uh, update <laughs> where fences break is that bullets can now break fences too. I don't have that turned on because. My poor little laptop is trying to just run this normally, but <laughs> but it is a cool thing about this update. So Union's almost that final push. Um, 42nd PA did some, they ran up, took a shot, and now they're falling back on this far left side. Uh, we have the 15th Wisconsin kind of hiding in the back here with first mass in front of them, uh, shooting at the third PS. Third PS really holding down a lot of CSA forces. Um, but this looks like the best chance of a Union assault. Um, Colquitt's Brigade in front. There's not a lot of CSA in front of them. Uh, this officer sees him, though. And you can, ooh, you can see, uh, he's telling his men, first Delaware here, to get up and take some shots here at the Union. Oh, these are solid shots to the corn. The rest of them are going to be firing at nothing, though. Oh, no, they hit the flag. See more CSA up on the top ah. left. They're starting to move over here as well. Oh, this is this is gonna be the um the, 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 the final push here. On the boat, CSA fans, the charging them out. Right, brace it, boys. Brace it up. Brace it up. Watch for rebels in the corn. Oh, to your southwest. A lot of course quarters fighting here. Confederates, first Delaware, they came up from the back, and it looks like uh, 42nd cool. PA will win that charge in the end. Union almost that final push here. Uh, and there they go. Three and a half minutes. So we have A and B. They did push them in the center. But yeah, Union are thwarted again. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, what a kill. What a kill. Oh, my oh wait, no, they got the flag back oh, up. Oh, they got him. No, they didn't. There was, there was hope there. But, wow. This was just a dominating match. And CSA just completely falling back to that point. So for those of you who don't know, so it's at three and a half minutes left for final push. That is just enough time for the Union to get from their spawn, which is over there to the point of contention two times without bandits and reloads so yeah two and a half minutes till the csa get their victory this well-deserved victory union starting to push up again though who's on this left side pushing up it is the 13th georgia pushing forward in the center uh, you do have 17th michigan but yeah confederates Heck of a performance by them. Granted, they did outnumber the Union. I mean, has that grown anymore? Union's outnumbering by four. There was probably some balancing. That's my guess. But PA's in the center. They're going to take some shots on the 13th. Forty second PA on the left side here. We're getting down to a minute and a half left. All the CSA needs to do really now is bubble wrap the point. Make it so that a single Union boot cannot even get on top of it. Oh, here we have it. A and V, 15th Wisconsin, basically destroying the 13th. Yeah, 13th did not stand a chance. Those poor guys. We have more charging in the center here. 
Um, yeah, Union destroyed this first CSA push by first Delaware, it looks like, but there's plenty more where that came from. You have 42nd up on top with PA to their right, taking shots at the remainder of this Union push. You have Vlad there from 9th Corps surviving that shot. Y'all couldn't win without your slaves. Yeah, good oh, shot. There they are. Hey, the game. Take a goat. Reload. 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 I would not. I mean, it doesn't matter really, but I would not be calling a volley in the last 30 seconds of final push. No. You never. Uh, yeah, you see. When I was a bigger unit, they were charging around. They could actually call it for that. That'd be crazy if the CSA did hit break in here. Uh, Union. Pushing forward, who is this last group here? It is kind of the remnants, first mass, third PS. They're charging in. Confederates aren't even going to hit breaking in this encounter, but that is the game. Heck of a job by CSA. Vassal, your thoughts for the round? Well, um, I will say that CSA did a very good job defending there. They just denied any single Union attempt to, to get beyond the snake fences and picket fences. Um, I think... All you have to take away from that is that CSA did a proper um, allocation of their numbers, right? Every single time that the Union were trying to push somewhere, the CSA were there in the proper numbers to repel the charges. The Union couldn't do anything. Um, as you, you, like Even on that right side there of the start, you see they just got wiped. The Union uh, went in piecemeal um, at that start, and then the CSA just sent over their whole team. And There's nothing really you can do on this map. Um, whenever you have a really organized CSA team that's taking advantage of the fact that they're organized. Uh, then after that, that failed charge, you see unions breaking up into smaller groups and they don't know what they're doing. Um, I, I give the uh, CSA performance an 8 out of 10, union uh, a 4 out of 10. And with that being said, thank you, and we'll see you in the second round. And here we are live on the second round. Battlefield, the sides have flipped, so your frontline report of views have flipped as well. Um, so, yeah, it is very exciting to see that. You can see Killer's View on the top right for the Union, and Cater is now on the CSA on the top left. So, this is exciting to see. So, Renal's Fall, Vastal, what, is, what should the Union do to try to defend on this map? Now, Reno's Fall is a bit of a tricky one sometimes. What I personally prefer to do is there's this forest, of course, to your left-hand side. Making use of the forest to try and delay the CSA, because the CSA will either like to push through that forest, because, you know, it's cover. Um, you sort of sit far back in the forest and vo exchanging volleys. You always want the CSA to think they're doing more damage to you than they actually are. That's a bit harder now with the new ticket system. I haven't played Reno since the We'll see how the CSA now back, reacts to the fact that their volleys don't do that much damage. Um, then there's that center position, uh, down the stone wall, it's where the snake fence meets further down there, uh, to the north. Uh, you'll see there, that's a position that the Union holds all, quite often. Um, you'll have the CSA try to push from your left or right, or down that center if they're being a bit weird. Um, and then you just take independent fire shots. Um, most of the time it's just trying to bleed that clock down and make the CSA make bad decisions. This is another map with a 10% ticket up, advantage up, for the attack attacker. So, you want to take it back. Thank you for that. First Delaware being very aggressive here for the Union, pushing very far forward on the left side. Third PS kind of engaging those shots. You see towards that center area that Vastel was talking about. You have HD pushing up there. You have a lot of CSA pushing down the far Union right, CSA left. That's historically what I've seen CSA attack with. But we have A and V in 15th Wisconsin. Very far behind the um, first Delaware and 42nd PA is holding in the center. More Confederate regiments are pushing up down this right side. We have the 13th, uh, 6th Alabama uh, pushing. And now they're pushing forward. Good gesture leading them. Uh, will they charge or are they just pushing up? Doesn't even matter because first Delaware pushed back. Let's quickly look at this far left side here for the CSA and this assault. You have Holquitz Brigade and... The 17th Michigan pushing oh, back. You have first mass, mass, mass behind and 9th Corps behind them. So CSA covering all flanks. In terms of our numbers, it's evened out. It's a four-man imbalance in favor of the CSA. Not as much as we saw earlier, but 
Uh, first Delaware and 15th holding in the center here on the left. PA and ANV um, engaging the 13th who's approaching. Thirteenth holding in these nice log areas, using the rocks to their advantage as well. Six uh, AL using it really nice. Uh, see that Union group? They are volleying here at the thirteenth. So fighting occurring in the woods. CSA still pushing down that far left side. Forty second in the center here. Um, they are not adjusting yet. They probably don't know they are there. I mean, CSA is going really far out. Um, but Union's being smart here. They do have a scout. Lyles, we've seen him scouting, and he definitely sees him now. Lyles sees all. He does. This man is a scout. So, hopefully with that, the 42nd PA should respond, and they are. That is beautifully done by them. Um, oh, crap, I missed something. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, man. So, it looks like 13th got hey, charged, hey, out hey, got charged out there. Man, you shot three. Apologies for missing that. Crap. That's a thing to miss. Um, this um, this side, we saw them do it last round on that defense. Um, they're very aggressive for being defenders. But this time, though, uh, it failed to work for them. They have lost more tickets than the CSA has. So. Get ready at 40, we charge. 40 with charge, press T. Move straight, charge. Get ready to charge. Get ready to charge. Get ready. Get ready. So here comes the CS. Yeah. 40 seconds. That's a very destroyed a charge. So Korkut's Brigade leading this charge. Friendlies. Behind. 40 seconds, will they get their reloads in in time though? It's gonna be very tight. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Okay, slow them in. Brace, brace, get it. So only a couple of them will be able to get their shots off. <laughs> you can hear soldiers saying, oh, that's a lot, because now they're all coming over. And despite the 42nd PA's best efforts, there's so many CSA approaching. And the Union is responding to this. They're not charging to the core, and they're going to charge in the open, trying to get behind them. It is the 15th Wisconsin. Um, it looks like more friendlies behind, but... Both sides refusing to charge here. They're just kind of sitting very close to each other, shooting point blank. Yeah, reform on me. Reform on the right side. Go. More Union coming in to assist. Who is that? First Delaware. So they're gonna charge around this other side. Get up against this snake fence. Take shots. More Union pouring in here to assist. Probably A and B and minus P A. Um, <laughs> Look west, look west, all you to west! So the whole Union team is pouring in to help what was originally the 42nd's position. Um, I think Union's going to be able to hold this in the end. Ooh, nice shot there, hit two. You can see uh, that's A and B in the woods. Uh, they're holding out on that side. CSA approaching, probably more 13th. Um, but yeah, no, shots are being whittled. Shots are causing the CSA to be whittled down here very slowly. That, that's a very bright blue flag for the CSA. The guy picks it up and then he dies. But Doug's going to try to get away with it. It looks like he will. They have enough to keep spawning men, but it's not like they can do much from here. No. Uh, Real shit. Okay, that unit was there the whole time. Okay. Um, real shame for the CSA though is that they didn't really push the advantage on that right side of no, of having that to like two union groups stuck on that um, on that uh, left. You know they they outnumbered the union here and they could have uh, had these two units together charge them out and take that corner. I want to move, bud. Indeed, that is for sure a possibility. But uh, we can see the Union, they, they're staying aggressive. Um, they did get that flag back with the rest of the 13th Georgia. Um, 
but Union holding up on these rocks, taking shots on them now. Union is actually now ahead in tickets, so this aggressive strategy has been paying off all day long for this side. It's it's quite crazy to see. Uh, who is who is in here? Uh, PA. It looks like they're just gonna run up, take some shots. Hard shots there. Don't know if any of them hit, but they're now falling back. TSA pushing forward on the right side here. Uh, HD coming off that center position. Let's dig in, HD. They yeah, are. see what I meant about those volleys doing nothing? This is what I meant. You know, you've got the got CSA now sort of shooting at you for the next 20 minutes, and they're not going to do much. So, yeah. Yeah. Union shifting back over to this left side. Um, it is first Delaware boys, boys. and 15th Wisconsin. Uh, you see some of PA here as well. Actually, I think PA is still holding there. Is this the 42nd? He is over here. 42nd back at their original position. Nice volley here. Uh, hitting everyone that's right here, basically. Easy money. But... Yeah, Union haven't lost any significant positions yet, so they're, they're doing fine so far. We do have Vlad here. What is our boy Vlad doing? He's going inside this man's He's having head. a little gander. Oh no, Vlad, 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 no, hey, Vlad. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Well done. Poor, poor Vlad. Poor Vlad. So CSA, looks like this is just more of a distraction. They're not trying to push forward on that right side, especially because they got wiped earlier on. Um, most of the Confederates seem uh, to think that going down this left side will be the best option. Um, 13th Georgia continuing to do volleys here. 9th Corps hitting the dead center of that line, killing two okay. but we are just waiting for another csa assault um is this group gonna move up are they charging the let's see left. first mass Ooh, on your own. If not, we're no take... it's first mass they're not gonna charge Holy fire at the flag take aim ready yeah, steady five quick the rocks on front left oblique go 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 all those shots went over. <laughs> I didn't hit anyone. Those, are, those are hard shots, <laughs> but... Well, yeah, that's why you don't shoot Ready. in the first place. You don't shoot that. First mass coming up to these rocks. A better position for their shots. Um, we do have this more CSA coming over here. You oh, see first right, Delaware and 15th Wisconsin returning to this position on the right side to assist the 42nd. 40 seconds shifting further down to the right uh, to allow space for their friendlies. You see some, some constant here as well. It looks like this is just from up to 15. Bus wants it. Uh, there's a Union Rambo right in front of me. Someone kill him, please. That guy, please kill him. Right there. I that I don't have a he doesn't have Never ammo. <laughs> uh, okay, have a nice day. No way he gets away with that. <laughs> I forgot that I didn't have any pistol fine. ammo. Dum dum. Oh, that lines are getting uh, high. Can we <laughs> How does he get away with that? CSA, very uh, gentleman like there. <laughs> but. For now, it's really just a stalemate for the CSA to push. Uh, we're just waiting for the CSA to push. That's really it. It's like 15th Wisconsin. Pushing back towards the center side here. PA is shifting back to the middle where they were. It looks like they're going to start taking some shots at the CSA. Who are running out and volleying here. If the CSA can try to cap, that might be an idea. Try to stop the clock. Uh, force the Union to come out to you. I mean, Union wouldn't have to go far because they can cap the point along this stone wall. For a pretty yeah. decent uh, portion of it. 
But the question is, when will this occur? That is that is the question. Almost a third of the way through the match. Both sides still in battle ready. CSA is very close to hitting their next stage. Union still got a way to go. They probably have 25% of their tickets remaining. Nice volley from PA. Get the flag. Backing two coming his fire at the moment. You're doing Check. good, Delaware. Jack. Jack. Hold fire. Here they come. But yeah, we do have a good gesture doing a little scouting here. First mass still up front getting shots. <laughs> Did I call that? They just hit that flag. I called that sucker. I told him Gosh, get off, he's gonna it. die. Damn it, that's son of tits. <laughs> so yeah, Confederates just content with sitting and shooting. That's gonna take a while. I mean we're a third of the way through the match. Union's not even at engaged yet. So they will have to make a move somewhere at some point. I think we're starting to see that 13th Georgia moving out to the far left side here. Second, you're still shooting second. Better you not boys. taking the long way around there. Trust going straight for it. Uh, you can see the 42nd the PA line, right? is Wait, responding to it, line. and they're going to try to take shots from right here. Got a decent amount of hits there. Uh, maybe three. I see little buddies there. Good shit. Yeah, that's cool. 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 yeah. So Confederates go down to engage. And 13th Georgia is running back after that volley. Oh. Union hitting engage because Confederates charged on this side. Looks like they wiped A and B. Uh, PA is trying to come in and help. I don't know how much the PA will be able to do here. With HG, both hey, sides at engage at a relatively the same time. Advantage still on the Confederate Saints taking his shots. But CSA are able to wipe the Union in the woods. That's oh. a very good. Oh, here we go. With counter charge. Lucian moves in with the 15th Wisconsin. He goes down. The rest of his men will now push in, trying to wipe the CSA off of this position. CSA should probably be charging on the left side right now. At least that'd be my guess. So 15th successfully pushes back. HD and company. Is there a charge happening on this other side? Yes, it is. There's a little window for the USA to respond, but 13th is leading this charge. I assume it's a charge. I mean... The Union's on the other side of the map. The only group that is here is the 42nd, so will they, will they be able to? I think they're going to stop. I think they're going to stop. Oh, no. No, they're going. They're going. It's good English there, but, yeah, it looks like they're going to try to pincer them from both sides. Uh, Union that is in the forest, they are, they're, going, they're going all the way. They're killing out of lines and such. They're trying to get ahead on the tickets. They are as of now. And the Confederates here are not charging in. They're sitting and shooting. Except for this guy. One guy knifing at us. Left guys left. You're being baited at it. But 42nd. That's smart. Keeping their flag in the corn. Confederates are going to aim there. Never mind. He returns to the line. But... The CSA, while there is a lot, it's allowing the time to come over and help the 42nd. I don't know if the 42nd is going to survive, though. They come. And 42nd appears to be falling off this point. Uh, there is the Union group moving in. PA, look at that. Ninja and four men are with him, and he's going to take some shots, but... A lot of CSA here. Uh, they're slowly creeping down this right side, and you can see Union's getting ready for that. They're holding up on the stone wall. It is 1st Delaware and 15th Wisconsin on that stone wall, trying to get shots down this area here. It's a little difficult. They're shooting at an angle, and there's guys and stick pets. It could be hard to hit. Yeah. 
You have Ninth New York for the Confederates. They're they're pushing forward here. A couple of them are. You do have more coming in the woods. I think HD third PS is here as well. Uh, they're gonna be charging out the ANG. Uh, are we sure those are friendlies? Where's Momo at, man? I think they're the Confederates. Enemies on the left, right at the road. Light them up to your north. Guys, north sure. I think it's a close, so check your, check your shots before you're left. firing. It's actually really funny. They thought the, the guys in front of them were uh, enemies, but <laughs> CSA, <laughs> it, lot, it, it can be hard and the heat of battle and everything. So CSA is engaging shots. Coming up the middle here is 6 Alabama. They're going to charge right into the flank of the 1st Delaware and 15th Wisconsin. This guy on the left side of this bush needs to be dead. There he goes. Excellent shots here from what I can tell. Hitting about 4 or 5. Union's responding. Uh, they are pulling off of Let this left side here. On the southeast. We do see a Union group pushing down this snake fence here. It is the 42nd. They've come back. To try to reclaim this area, it's going to be a little difficult for them. It might be a little outnumbered. Um, Forty second getting a volley. Yeah, 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 one thirteenth though, on the farther side. Six Alabama did push forward. They're charging. They do have this nice stone wall. No union on their flank. PA is charging right at them. They have this nice stone wall. <laughs> You see A and B coming out of the woods. It looks like CSA were charged out Don't in the woods. <laughs> so CSA is going to come up and try to hold this as the rest of the Union team on this side comes out and practically wipes some flags falling back. But yeah, the Confederates are back ahead tickets wise. I think this is the 13th Georgia. Sorry, oh, first mass. Stand and shoot. Stand and shoot. Stand and shoot. shoot, up, shoot, up, shoot. Stand I don't shoot, like this. I guess they are falling back to the fence. However, they exposed themselves for a moment. I thought they were charging the stone wall. Rest of the Confederates now pushing in as well. Here's the 13th, 17th taking a volley. And they are splitting off to the left. They're not going for the corner. Maybe more of a deception. Oh no, these poor guys. Two out of liners. One miss. There's, there's a hit. Oh no. Th two out of lines. Perkins got to run. Yeah, he boy. Watch out. So 13th has a complete flank. Back right, back uh, right. They get their shots oh, off. Behind us, behind us. Yep, yeah, yep. Get the spawn. Calm down. And you can see Union coming from the spawn go. Now. Go. 42nd did return to their original positions. Voltage Brigade getting a volley, but they are being shot at from behind. It looks like they did take some casualties from the 42nd. 13th. This is so weird to look at. What is this? We have a Union group that's not going to charge into their fucking asses. So 13th going behind Colquitt's. Um, it looks like they might be targeting 42nd, but we do have 1st Delaware. They're going right into the middle of this. And they're gonna turn and charge. Brace right! I can't move, oh, Sasha. I can't move either. Use that nice. Brace, gentlemen, brace. 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 40 seconds not charging brace. in. Union going down, taking losses. Confederates are very close as well. Cease fire, cease fire. But Confederates do win this charge. 13th barely even got touched there. We do see Confederates charging in the distance, though. It is HD. This is really funny. So right as HD charges in, 15th pulls off the wall with PA. And they're now charging in. 42nd is not charging in behind the CSA force here. The shots being engaged near the point. Can't tell as of now. We do know HD and company charged. But. 
kind of hard to tell who's winning this. Well, Looks like the fighters did hold. And they were able to push onto this point here and win that. They're continuing Friendly. to go. They charged out the artillery, but... Yeah, 40 seconds holding off in the distance, kind of taking shots. Is this A and V in the woods? Uh, it is A and V in the woods. They're kind of taking shots towards the uh, Confederate force that charged in the middle. But Union kind of getting pushed back to their spawn here. Confederates ahead by a lot. Only a couple Who's the CSA have on the cap? These guys running that are here. They're gonna cap by accident. I don't know if this is on accident or on purpose, but it's accident. Accident. No, it, can, it can only be skirmishing and uh Oh well these these guys here are probably in skirmishing. Yeah, cause... Oh yeah, there we have it. CSA caps, that's not yeah, great. That's not good for them. That's terrible, actually. We'll explain it a little bit. Well, that's if the Union can take advantage of it. If the Union doesn't take advantage of it, this oh, is fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Union could easily push the Confederates in the last stand. Um, oh, the Confederates are now defending. Right, they could push very aggressively and try to wipe them down, which I wouldn't be surprised if we see, we see Union pushing up. First De Delaware charging in here. Confederates... I don't know, man. This sucks. His union's going to get up to your percentage of tickets. Um, which, honestly, well, I don't all know. all you have to do is lower your percentage. <laughs> <laughs> Simply suicide. Um, so, 42nd is going to be able to wipe the remainder of the CSA force. But, wow. See what I mean? They, they just lost a bit of percentage there. They're not going to go up as high. They, they did. So shots being engaged on this side. Union's just mass charging. They want the CSA to go in the last What's stand. What's the CSA doing? You, you know your defense. Huh? I don't know if they're trying to lose tickets, but here's the thing. Confederates are now considered defenders. And so if the Confederates will not hit final push, they'll hit last stand if they go to their last stage. And that's why the Union is mass charging, at least according to what it should be. Confederates should probably just let the Union recap. Or they can try to hold it for five minutes. That's another possibility. Um, wow. I mean, they could, but they're going to be cutting it close. They will be. Union is continuing the push here. Oh my God. CSA have only a couple guys here. These guys are going to get wiped the here. Oh, yeah. They're going to take a step back so they can't step, step you before you fence. reload. Oh, reload in their face. Reload shot. their face. Got them. But yeah, the Union they're spawning straight down north. They're spawning straight down north. Are going to be able to wipe a lot. You can see these Confederates. It looks like are they going for the point? They are going for the point. So these rocks are on the point. Are they going to keep going though? They are. So both sides almost at breaking. We're at almost at four and a half minutes here in this counterattack. Uh, Confederates continuing to push. These guys are going to be quite unfortunate for the Confederates, skirmishing out of line depth. But holy crap, Union is just trying to get into their spawn. You do see Confederates engaging. Uh, it is 6 sale. So Union hit break and Confederates very close. Uh, you do have first mass holding on the point. Confederates still have point with four minutes left. I mean, Union just charging as deep as they can. The Confederates nice are going for it as well. The Confederates think they can hold the point? Get that guy, get that guy. It's doable. Hey, you. Well, you but it's... Damn, this is close. It's going to be close as shit. Oh, shoot, get behind me. A and B charging first mass. A and B should win this. They overwhelm. Uh, you can see 40 second volleying in the... Well, you can't. Now you can. <laughs> but... <laughs> we clear? Yeah, A and B wiping this group on point. Sorry if the flags are a little annoying. It's just so sporadic. I'm trying to see where things are. But Confederates are reforming here. We're almost at three minutes in the counterattack phase. Uh, Confederates could let Union... Union should not. Yeah, Union should be charging again. They're going to let them cap. They're going to cap, I mean. 
I mean, Confederates should let Union cap. Yeah, Confederates uh, now is in a perfect position for the CSA if they if the Union doesn't get off the flag. Ooh. A and V is being aggressive, continuing that Union still capping. Seventeen hey, Michigan right trying to reform, getting caught off guard here by They're A and V. They're just ignoring us. Wow, this is. Oh, you guys that one? Yeah, we're right next. Union might be forced down to the final push here. Confederates aren't really taking a lot of casualties. It's I don't think Union's gonna have enough time to force him in the last stand. Nowhere near. So Union is recapping. I don't know if this is on purpose or by who is capping. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is still going. CSA are determined to hold. They don't think they right yeah, there, they right want to win the game I mean, here and now two minutes. minutes. They they could they could do it actually. Union right. Union were hesitant in both directions and I might get punished for it. So Colpitz Brigade running up, taking some fall shots. Back, They're back. now falling back. Union holding in the woods here. 15th Wisconsin in the woods. First Delaware here as well. Union is determined with the strategy of aggression. Um, Not aggressive enough. They don't have enough time to force them down. But, I mean, their tickets don't matter. I mean, yeah, Union still should try to... Their time doesn't matter. They, they, they could have hit final push with two minutes left. They could have just kept charging, charging, charging. Oh, uh, they're charging the things. The Union should just try to force the Confederates down as much as they can and then recap so that the Confederates have final push rate right when they recap or near that. More Confederates Come coming here, in boy. from their spawn. Very important. Let's keep, keep like uh, take hat. a look at these tickets. Mind, give me that hat. So, Union getting white there. And more, the Union's just charging in sporadically here. I'm down, boys. Charge him. 40 seconds remaining. CSA. 75% oh, of the can, way. I don't think they can do it this time. No. Union's last chance is to keep the cap in play. The last slam, but that's how, the way Union can win here. If I keep oh, no, the cap oh, no. going. Oh, no, don't look at me. What the hell? Oh, no, don't... And Union hits final push. 18 seconds left on this timer. Union's mass charging. They, they got to hope. I mean, five seconds left. Wonder if there will be an overtime. There will be an overtime. Cause yeah, cause Union's trying to retake the point. They have more bodies on it. Um, Union should try to avoid capping, but oh, Confederates are almost at last stand. Now it's the other way around. See, these couple guys Last are running thing. out. That could be terrible for them. Well, Bam. Yeah, they retake there you go. it. Now it's the other way around. Now Union's going to hit last stand. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Union's going to hit last stand. Confederates are going to hit fine. I mean, these Confederate, couple Confederate guys out here, if they force them in the final push, that's terrible. But Confederates are in a prime position to win this game. Because, uh, I mean, Very once warm. they charge, Union will go in the last stand. And all the Union guys will start dying and they can't respawn. So, Union should try to just be shooting at them right now. Uh, trying to force them into a uh, final push. Because they're so close. If I was CSA, I'd just be up and over and on that oh, snake oh, fence of the right side of this wall. And just going like a horde down that stone wall. Very simple. Very blunt. After they reform, though. But, yeah. It's going to be a tight yeah. match. Heck of a way to end this, though. Very exciting round. Stuff up. Especially the last couple of minutes here. Animal. Last seven. Valley. Wow. <laughs> Come on. You got to get it in the right spot. You got this. See, the thing that sucks right now. Yeah, I like that. First Delaware volleying. Confederates are just trying to reform right now. You can see they're all coming in from small. They're so disorganized right now. They're very spread out. Union needs to knock them in the final push to... Like, force them to start moving now and be disorganized. And they need to be volleying like First Delaware. Okay, that was bad. First Delaware inching forward. 
I mean, CSA should be waiting. They should need to avoid getting hit. Ooh. Yeah, I, the Every whole Union Every single team. volley can just tip the scales. I don't know why Union isn't volleying as a team. I mean, they just got to hit a couple of guys. Some of those shots hit really short. <laughs> why are why is the CSA volleying? Yeah, I mean... CSA just needs to avoid getting hit. Uh, they're pushing forward. Or this, oh, this might... what are you doing? Eh. As long as they push with the rest of their team, I'm not too concerned. 42nd PA uh, is defending here against the 13th. 13th, what a fire. So they do a volley in the open. They're running that way. CSA is charging down the center here. CSA needs those boys in the corner. HD in the front. Who's going to hit what first? Confederate stopping on the point of contention. They just want to win it. They want to force the Union to come to them. And you, you can see the Union is starting sword. to push that way. Run. Confederate to oh final God, push. And Union hits last stand. Almost simultaneously. Three and a half minutes, Union have to hold. Too close right, for comfort. Behind us. For either side. Oh, is right. going to run. The fighter's charging behind as well. Why is that CSA group there sitting by and get in there? I think they're just trying to hold the point. Or oh, that group. They're charging a group. Oh, now they're charging. Thank God. Right down the middle. A and V is being charged out by Colquitt. But, I mean, yeah, this really looks like... Uh, there's actually a sizable Union force still remaining. I don't know if they can survive for two and a half minutes. It's 15th Wisconsin, though. They're charging into the third. Yeah. The final push is overpowered. You have infinite tickets. But, yeah, we're at two and a half minutes. I mean, the chunk of Union... This is all that's left for the Union team in this L formation. So, it, yeah, I shouldn't say anything yet. So, 13th Georgia, they're pushing through the corn here. They see their enemies. They're taking shots. Their flag kind of revealed their position very obviously. Come on, boys, let's go. Come here, boy. Nice couple shots oh, there by the enemy guys. Fuck you, boy. I don't think hey, it's even you, gonna matter. No fence dance, no fence dance. No fence dance, stay out of the fence. Good night, buddy. Guys, no fence. Point brother. still being held by Union, though. How many guys are left? Uh, Only a couple hey, guys like left. You. Mostly a so mix of first balls. Delaware and the 15th Wisconsin. Uh, I don't like it here. Beer wall. Beer wall. coming in from spawn. They're just bonsai charging here. They're gonna get bonsai from both sides though. But yeah, this looks like it is the end of the second round. CSA starting to cap the point here. Union left. And that'll do it. Vastel, your thoughts on this round? Well, that was a bit of a twist and turn in there. Uh, I never really felt like I knew who was going to win until the near end there because both sides just kept doing stuff that would make the other side win. <laughs> um, overall, it was a very fun match to watch, I'd say. Uh, a little bit uh, anxious at times for both sides. Um, yeah, I, I'd say both teams did okay. I give them both a, a six out of ten performance, and that's you know above average. So yeah, I mean that was a good round to watch. Very tight there at the end. That was that was good to see. So yeah, I mean heck of an event. Union side took an L both rounds, despite it being different teams who are running the Union. But yeah, an exciting day for the grand campaign especially with it starting its first event for the new season and with that being said here's the post game interview Woo. here we go here we are with the post game interview for today's european grand campaign event 
We had our first match on the Hatches attack where the CSA team very aggressively won the match. And then we had our second round on Reno's Falls where the team switched sides and the now new CSA attacking team was able to win in a very close match. Um, almost lost due to the mistake of capping point early. We have representatives and leaders from each tide to talk about strategy and more. So let's go through the Team 1 introductions, who was CSA Round 1, USA Round 2. First, we have Killer. Uh, hi, Colonel Killer. Uh, Colonel the MV in the 10th Alabama. Then we have Lucian. Hello, Lieutenant Colonel Lucian off the 15 Wisconsin. Then we have Chance. I'm Chance, Captain of the 3rd NC. And then we have Ken Ross. Hi uh, guys, uh, Captain Ken Ross, uh, uh, second in command of the 15th Wisconsin. Now on to our Team 2 side, who is USA Round 1, CSA Round 2. First we have Cloud. Hi there, uh, Captain Cloud from the Quantrill's Raiders, part of the 1st Division. Then we have Angle. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Angle, second in command of the 1st North Carolina Artillery, also part of 1st Division. And last but not least, we have Jake. Hi everyone, I am Corporal Jake of the 17th Michigan. All right, thank you all for introducing ourselves. Let's go to round one. So USA was attacking first on Hatch's attack. So the USA side, what was your strategy going into the round and how did you guys react to the ever change of battlefield? Uh, our strategy was pretty aggressive. Uh, we thought we came up from the back side. We thought maybe we could hit them from, hit the CSA and the, I guess you could call it like the like by the corn and then on the corner side. So we tried that strategy, but then we saw the whole bunch of them, and I don't and come up the road, an enemy regiment, and I don't know if that was Killer's guys or that was Chance's army in the road, but we got them pretty good. Uh, we fell back, and till I till some of our men just took a lot of casualties and from artillery fire and. A lot of different smoke. Just we try to hold our ground the best we can, and we gave it our all. So, cloud angle. Anything to add? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we were supposed to start off on the uh, uh, I guess a full team charge on the uh, far right, and it kind of just instead of going all together, it looks like we kind of just went in in waves and kind of just got took apart. Um, other than that, it just wasn't the best of coordination between us on that map, and it kind of just showed, uh, they pretty much just whooped us all up and down that map. So yeah, a fa fair, fair win for CSA on that map. Communication was lackluster on our part on that side, but hey, it, I'll see it as a way to improve ourselves, you know, everybody learns from their mistakes, so, yeah. All right, thank you. Let's go to the CSA side now. They were defending on Hatchet's attack. What was your guys' strategy going into the round, and how did you guys react to the ever-changing battlefield? Uh, yeah, basically our strategy was to hold the left, the middle, and the right side uh, around the point, basically on the fence, both of the fence lines uh, on the point, around the point, basically, and we kept good communication in the voice chat and the CEO chat, knowing where uh, the union was gone, for example, when they started going left, we uh, just all charged left, tried to wipe them as fast as we could, get as many tickets mopped up as we could, wipe as many as we could, as fast as we could, and when they switched right, we all went right, went there, as the union seemed to have been employing a strategy of going like all at one point, as we expected, so we just kept communication up with saying, if they're on the right, we just all go right. If they're on the left, we all go left. We just basically went uh, where the union went. Occasionally, there was some lines that broke broke through uh, very rarely, but it was only like one or two lines, and they were not that big when they did. So we just kept going around left, right, left, right. Everywhere they went, we just wiped them up, and it turned out pretty good. So I would say coordination was definitely uh, what did it for us. Uh, yeah. I agree. I agree. Uh, and we were well. E and V was holding the right side, CSA right, Union left, where that snake fence uh, runs up the side of the map. Um, we we pretty much held it the the entire time, apart from a few times, and we went over to the left side through the corn. Um, but I don't I don't think the the Union really had a um 
a, a foothold on that right side uh, at all once. But I feel like there was you know, there was definitely times where um, we were kind of just all over the place, and sometimes like we overstacked a certain side. But other than that, communication was pretty much on point. I understand why you have a union regiment sitting by the wall, and they're not doing anything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, does anyone have any more comments or questions for the whole event before we call it off for a night? Um, one one quick thing. Obviously, this was the first week of the new season of Grand Campaign. We have a lot of new regiments and a lot of um, a lot more numbers than we did last season. So it, you know, there's, there's going to be a few um stepping stones for communication and stuff once everyone starts to get used to working with each other and all that. And then, but yeah, it it was a all in all, it was a pretty good event once we got everything organized and the bouncing and all that stuff sorted. I uh, would say it's I would say it's also a very good start in the East, the campaign, especially with yeah. the casualties. Crap, there was a lot. <laughs> yeah, and the that all matters. I, the only comment I will make is we are be starting a new grand new HCC campaign uh, after we finish off the current one, so. Be on the look at look on that. Be on the look out for that too, uh, Eagle. Isn't that, isn't that an NA thing? NA. Yeah, that's NA. Yeah, it's that, NA that is tonight. It is indeed. What, what? That is correct. Talking about this NA bullshit. <laughs> NA and an EU <laughs> event. <laughs> Talking about an NA, NA event and an EU event. The point. How dare you? We're gonna convert the Europeans into Americans. How dare you? How dare you? So yeah. With, I guess with that being said, thank you all for listening in and watching the broadcast. It was fun to do. Like, share, sound, subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next episode. Have a good rest of the night.